Hey guys, MC Crawl here, and welcome back. Uh, what I got for you today, guys, is another tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on the five clock. Uh, it's not going to be your standard five clock. It's going to be a compact uh, five clock. Uh, as you see here, this is your this is your standard five clock. As you can see, it takes up quite a bit of space. Uh, just to show you guys, uh, the lever is excluded. This is just to halt the um, the power of it so as you see there it goes that's your standard five clock and the reason it's called a five clock is because there are five torches it's on a five torch delay so turn that off and uh, yeah so you just use a simple uh, lever to turn it on and off um, you can make a five clock with repeaters but the issue with repeaters and five clocks is they have an issue with jamming on you and uh, when you have one running in your world and then you log out and try to log back in it's usually stopped and that also causes issues also another one that causes issues is when you're in SMP and you change the time of day that will also cause it to have issues but not with this clock this one will I believe as far as I know will almost always work all right, so uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna redesign this a little bit. I've already done some testing, and here are three versions that I have. I have um, this one, which is a uh, two by five by two. Uh, this one is the exact same dimension, just built slightly different. Uh, this, as low as I could possibly go, this is as compact as I can get it. This one right here is my single uh, single row one. It is four by four, four wide, well, uh, one wide, uh, four deep, and four high. Four, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, four high. And uh, I am going to make two of these for you guys. Uh, show you guys how to make them. I'm just going to make this one because uh, these two are identical. There's no point in me making both of them. So. I'm going to remake this one for you guys over here, and then I'm going to remake that one over there. All right, so let's start with this one. Uh, each one of these uses redstone and redstone torches, five redstone torches approximately. All right, so you want to put a block here, a torch, and a piece of redstone. Then you want to put two blocks. You want to put a piece of red, uh, a redstone torch on top of there and a piece of redstone on uh, right there. You want to build this up too, but knock out the bottom one. And then on this side, you want to put a redstone torch. Uh, down here, you want to put a piece of redstone. I just want to verify that I did that right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you want to put a block. And then on the other side of that block, you want to put a torch. Place a block on top of that one, a torch, and another piece of redstone. And if it works correctly, you guys will automatically start seeing this sucker taken off on you. Uh, you can easily stop it by breaking out one of the pieces of redstone, start it back up by placing it, or you can use a lever, turn the lever on, and that will also stop it. And then when you turn it off, it will keep it going again. I am going to sleep real quick, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Okay, so now we're going to build the single wide one. The single wide one is by far my most compact version. Uh, if you have the height, this is this is the one you're most likely going to want to use, uh, mainly because uh, of these two uh, outputs right here. Actually, my son wants an apple, uh, and I'll show you guys at the end of this video why I was making five uh, clocks in the first place. Uh, so we're going to put two there, a piece of redstone right along there, and then a torch on the end. Then you want to build this up torch on the inside, build it up again, torch on that inside, and build it up one more time, torch on the inside. Uh, then you want to build this out, place a piece of redstone, and a torch. And there you go. This is by far the simplest one, guys. I have not seen one out here like this, but uh, then again, I really didn't look too much. I did do some searching for compact ones, and I really couldn't find one that suited me. Okay, uh, and then you can just turn that off, and it's, it's they're super simple to build, guys, uh, and they're very useful. 
uh, and very reliable. Okay, now the reason why I needed a five clock. Uh, let's put some outputs here. Two there. Put two there. Actually, I just need one there. And then I'm going to put a dispenser. All right. Uh, now, first off, let me do this. I'm just going to show it to you guys with the one tick on there. You guys can hear it going. That's with the single tick. Now, whoops. Now this is with the second output attached to it. And just to kind of show you guys. That shoots three of them out within the five clock timing. Now there are ways to get it to go even faster than that, but this is really all I needed for what I was, what my little project is. Uh, which, if you guys rewatch this video, I'm sure you guys will see it somewhere in the background. Uh, try not to get too stingy. Uh, I am doing that project uh, as a little special eventually. Uh, just want to make sure everything works. Anyways, guys, uh, that's the tutorial. I hope this uh, helps you guys. And, uh, you know, as always, uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side.